Hello everyone and welcome to this interview with professor and philosopher Masashi Nakamura from Japan, creator of this magnificent book, La Cadio in Japan called Seeking a Lost Spiritual Period. He was kind to answer my questions via messenger uh, and apologize for not being with us, but he is in Kyoto, Japan. My question was, how do you feel and describe Sintoism in a short version? And he said, Shinto is a faith in awe and gratitude. It's a sense to be part of nature. And he invited to read to you page 109 of Lafcadio Hearn in Japan code that explains a little bit more what is Shinto. Shinto is the Japanese faith that considers nature to be a deity caused by the natural environment. Shinto, at the sense of being part of nature, is a very important philosophical proposition linking to peace. This sense of being a part of nature is a consciousness or teaching that emphasizes with the state of the natural world. Nature is defined by time and place. The relationship between three thoughts by Japan code. The first one, cyclical time thought, the flow of time itself. Second, present moment thought, the state of a specific time. And third, mutual harmony thought, inner connections between a specific place, time, all seen in natural world. So it leads me to the question that why do you believe everything is connected as they believe in Shintoism? And the answer is very simple and very thoughtful. Everything is connected to everything else. This is generally referred to as Leonardo da Vinci wise insight and his words at the Design Museum in London that says, the human genius in his various inventions and with various instruments may answer the same end. He will never find an invention more beautiful or simpler or direct than the nature because in her invention nothing is lacking and nothing is superfluous. I really was impressed with that definition why we are connected and how we are connected with the beauty of nature. And my third question was, why do you believe in it? And he said a simple, yes, I believe in nature. Nature exists as the basis of our lives. And Shinto is a faith in our gratitude for this nature the Japanese deity Kami is nature itself, and the influence and proximity of nature on human has led to the idea of this sense of being part of nature. So, in the recent uh, post that we have on Facebook, he mentioned about Kashu Fugetsu. And those that follow Masashi Nakamura are writing haiku to express 
disconnectedness that we have in literature with nature, writing haiku. So, kasho fugetsu is literally mean bird, flowers, wind, and moon. It's a culture that praises nature based on those Shinto beliefs. In experiencing the beauty of nature, you can learn about yourself. Feeling Tasho Fugetsu in nature will raise awareness of others. Masashi Nakamura ended saying, Equal justice under law and equal justice under nature. His conversation through Messenger and his post on Facebook about nature and the poetry and the meaning of a haiku and the meaning of kakcho fugetsu reminds me of John 15, Jesus, the true wine. I am the true wine and my father is the vineyard. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. What branch do you want to be? In which branch do you want to stay? We are all interconnected. This is what we believe. And this was the conclusion that we have with Professor Masashi Nakamura. For more than two years, we are collaborators with poetry. And we put together, he put together, he's the curator of this book, and experiences with our world greatness collaboration during the pandemic, during quarantine, during 2019. And we recollected world history in this book through art, points, photographs, and because we are interconnected, our fates intertwine in one, in God, in nature, as they believe in Shintoism. Thank you. This is Marixa Martinez Mejia. A pleasure to share with you these thoughts. Until next time.